The Lord said he'd leave the 99 and go after that one. The Lord literally spoke to me, told me what her name was. I already knew her name. It was like, oh, this is so cool. And when she told me her name, I was like, yep, that's what I heard. He said that you are beautiful to him. And, you know, when you tell someone about themselves, the Word of God is very specific. They can come amongst you, saints, and they can hear you speaking in tongues and doing all kind of manner of stuff and think you're absolutely crazy. But if you tell them what's in their heart and you tell them what thus saith the Lord and only the Lord could tell them that, they're going to fall down on their face. They're going to fall down on their knees. They're going to repent. They're going to receive the Lord. You know, I've, I've read that word so many times, and the Lord has given me a word for people, and He's never wrong, saints. So yeah, I'll, I'll just go ahead and tell you the story. The other sister with me, we, we spoke to her for probably an hour or so. Another lady came and spoke to her, gave her a testimony. Um, her sis, sister, Gail, I had met her at the library, prayed with her a couple of months ago. Well, in the last two months, she's really had uh, uh, what she calls an epiphany, a wake-up call. Her life has changed. Things are just completely turned upside down since we had our meeting and prayed at the library. She gave her testimony. So she comes today to tell us the testimony. She tells this other young lady that had come and detoured and then decided to come and stay. Her testimony draws this girl in even more. We had several other people that came we prayed with. It was phenomenal once again today. Uh, this young woman got up and left. She had to go to the bathroom, so she went across the street. When she came back, she got in an altercation with another woman, and they were fighting and cursing, and it was just chaos. Chaos! And uh, so we sat there, and we prayed, and we did what we needed to do. It all stopped, and I said, you ready to come on back in inside? Are you ready to come back? Uh, are you ready to come back to Jesus? Come on. You know, I, I didn't condemn her. We didn't tell her how horrible she was. We just said, come on back over here with us. This is a safe zone. So she did, and she stayed. And um, not long after we got there, she was there. That was 930. We didn't leave until after 2 o'clock. She was the first one there and the last one standing. Seriously. At the very end, saints, the praise report is this. God saved her soul. I don't need to say anymore. He'll leave the 99 and go after that one. And even when they stand there and continue to do even more ugly things, he's still not condemning them. He's calling them to himself. We are calling them to righteousness through the power of the Holy Spirit. And we're to love them and show them the way and help them find it and walk therein. But it's their decision, saints. I had been given some handkerchiefs by um, a friend of mine. My sister Toby, a prophetic artist, one of God's chosen ones, the Lord told her to make handkerchiefs. So she takes the flags and banners that she makes, and she takes the remnant and makes handkerchiefs and prays over them and anoints them, and oh my gosh, they smell like they came from heaven. They feel like they came from heaven. They look like they came from heaven. Well, when she sent them to me, she actually sewed 50 of them into my ministry. And the Lord, will, would uh, he gave me specific instructions to only give these out to remnant believers that are a remnant like the remnant handkerchief. Well, I call them war kerchiefs. The two women that received one of those handkerchiefs, what I call war kerchiefs today, could feel the fire, could feel the anointing. Not only did Sister Toby have instructions for the Lord as to what to do with these handkerchiefs, I was giving, given personal instructions for each of the 50 for what I would
was to do over each of them. What I was to pray, I had to personally um, have them close to my body, on my body, and and to just mingle with the, the DNA of the Holy Spirit coming out of me. And I, and I know because Sister Toby handled them, um, I've handled them, and, and they've got a double prophetic blessing over them, what we've spoken over them. And the Lord is the one that will put his anointing upon something. And uh, when you hand someone that thinks that they're worthless and no good a beautiful piece of artwork that's anointed by God, again, you know, without your faith, it's, it's a token. But when you put your faith in it, and Sister Toby and I have agreed with heaven about these handkerchiefs, which are now war kerchiefs, the Lord will fight your battles. And to give them to someone that thinks they're nothing, that thinks they're worthless, to give them a beautiful, valuable piece of eternity, God is the one to be glorified. So, my testimony is simple today, saints. I obeyed the Lord. And because I obeyed the Lord, we know we got at least one more in the kingdom today. And we told this young woman... You don't have an ugly heart. She looked at us. She said, everybody's always telling me I've got an ugly heart. I said, well, are you going to believe what everybody else says about you? Or are you going to believe what Yeshua Hamashiach says about you? She decided she'd believe what the Lord said about her. So the assembly in the empty parking lot behind the library under the oak trees... On September 22nd, 2019, the Lord saved a soul. He sowed into some other souls, and uh, he showed himself mighty on our behalf. 